So let's start out with makeup. The first thing I'm doing is priming my face with my Nivea shaving balm thing. It's like a men's after shave type thing, but it works really, really well as a primer and it keeps your makeup on all day and it just looks flawless and glowy. And I love it for the winter time because sometimes in the winter when your skin's a little bit dry, it can kind of make your foundation look a little bit cakey and like crispy. This primer stops it from doing that. I love it. And I've had a little coffee break because it's autumn and I like coffee and whipped cream and stuff. Yay. Now I'm going in with my foundation. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. It's a little bit pricey, but it literally is remarkable. There's a reason why it's called that. Honestly, the coverage is incredible, but it also looks like kind of natural and like flawless on the skin. I'm looking in the mirror as I'm filming this and it just looks like flawless and natural on my skin and it like blends perfectly with my body. On camera sometimes my foundation looks like it doesn't match but I promise you it does. If you ever see me in real life you'll know that I am the same tone. The skin is the same tone all the way down to the toes so don't you worry. Also blend your foundation down your neck because you don't want that harsh line. Now I'm going in with, what is this concealer? Rimmel Maybelline. It's a match perfection concealer, I'm not too sure who it's by though. And I just did the usual, like under the eyes, that little triangle on the forehead, the chin, the nose. Basically just like the high points of your face and points of your face that look a little bit flat that you wanna give more definition and like brighten up. And then I blended that out with a damp beauty blender. Ooh, I love this thing. Then I applied mascara to my lower lashes. I do my makeup in a really odd way, you'll see in this video. But I always, always, always forget to put mascara on my lower lashes if I, I don't do it right after I've done concealer, I don't know why. Now for the brows, I'm using a Freedom Pomade. It's the same thing as the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but it's like four pounds, so you know. I'll let you make that decision. I love this stuff, it's so good, and I got mine in black because my hair is black. I just fill in my eyebrows. I don't like overdraw them or anything. I just kind of fill in the natural shape and pull the, what's it called, like the tail down a little bit because it stops a little bit prematurely. And then I just go over with this, what is this? Is this a gel type thing? This is from Sleek, it's like their travel size thing. And I just comb through them and kind of set them into place because my eyebrows move so much. Now for the eyeshadow, I am just applying a little bit of my contour shade into the crease. It's very warm and golden and like, you know, like autumn-y and autumnal and nice. So I like to use that because it reminds me of like bonfire or just like smalls and stuff like that. It's good. Then I do some contouring. I'm very heavy handed when it comes to contouring. You know, like short people like to wear heels to make them look taller. People with chubby faces like to contour like crazy to, you know, make them look skinny. Um, I do blend it out though, so it does look, it looks fine in real life. On camera, it looks a little bit like, whoa, why are you doing this to yourself? But I promise it looks good in real life. See, I'm blending it out. It's all good, don't worry, don't worry, it's all good. Then highlight, you guys know I'm using my Anastasia. Is it? Is it Anastasia? Pretty sure it is. The 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 glow kit. You guys know. You guys know what it is. And I mix all four of those shades. Now I'm doing my liner. You guys could definitely, definitely, definitely do this look without liner. I think it's so pretty without liner and just like more natural and you know like glowy and stuff. But if you want to wear it on a night out or you just love winged eyeliner like I do. Then add a little bit of a wing. I'm using the Kat Von D liner. It's really, really good. I really, really like it. I'm definitely gonna repurchase this. I was sent like the little mini travel size things and now I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the full size. I just know it. I also decided not to speed this clip up because a lot of people say, oh, liner must take you so long. But this clip isn't sped up. This is how long it takes me. It takes me like 45 seconds. So when I say, just let me do my eyeliner, I'll be two minutes. It's true. It's like a minute and I. Really good. I've got that skill perfected.
Lastly for the look, I am just lining my lips because I do not have any lips. I just like to make them look a little bit bigger. I don't overline them like crazy. Just a little bit, so it's just a little bit more there. And that is literally it for the makeup. Don't you guys think that's so easy? I think it's so easy, so simple. I'm loving it. Now for the hair, the hair is also extremely, extremely simple. I'm very lazy, you guys might know this about me, so I just like to do things as quick as I can, and just get it over with. So my hair, I'm using the Numi Titan 3 thing, this isn't sponsored, they did send it to me years and years ago, but this video isn't sponsored. I literally get the biggest barrel, I wrap one piece of hair towards my face, one piece of hair away from my face, one towards one away, one towards one away, you get it. It just makes a really natural looking wave slash curls. If you did this on hair that's normally straight, it would be waves, but my hair's naturally really, really curly, so it holds curls so easily. As soon as I put it on there, it's curly, literally. I only hold it for like three seconds, it's already in that shape. And then I just mess it up a little bit, you know, pull the curls out a little bit, and that's it. It's so easy, so simple. It took me five minutes, so this is so good for mornings and stuff like that if you need to do your hair quick. And these curls stay in for weeks. Lastly, for the outfit, you guys know I like to keep it casual, I like to keep it simple. I am just wearing this grey jumper from Zarful. It's got like a little hole thing, so it looks a little bit more put together. Black high-waisted jeans from ASOS, and I was wearing some black boots with fluffy socks, but you guys can't see that. And obviously my necklace that I wear all the time. And that is literally it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on Saturday with another one. Yeah, bye guys, I love you so much.